It's possible to use the sum product and if statements together in Microsoft Excel. And in this video, I'll show you how. Okay, I have a table over here in this range, and it consists of four columns. One column for customers, then the category, quantity, and average cost. So I want the sum product for the last two columns. In other words, I want a formula which returns the sum of the products for these two corresponding ranges. And the default operation in Excel is multiplication. I want the sum product of these two columns. In other words, I want this value to be multiplied by this value, and I want this to take place across this entire table, and then I want the total of that. So that's what the sum product means. And I also want the sum product to be conditional. So I want it to be based on certain customers and or certain categories. So here's how to do this. So let's say we want the sum product of these two columns, column D and column E, but only for a certain customer, say Nicola. We want the sum product of these two columns only for this particular customer, Nicola. Here's how it could be done using this formula, which is currently displayed on the screen and also used in this cell. So the formula is as follows, sum product, open parentheses, two hyphens, and I'll explain what these two hyphens do a little bit later on. And then we indicate the range, which is the customer range, and it has to be equal to Nicola. Or alternatively, we can put the name Nicola in double quotations as so. The end result will be exactly the same. And then we have to indicate the two columns for which we want the sum product, which is the D3 to D12 range and column E, which is the E3 to E12 range in this case. And that's pretty much it. And if you click on enter, that will give us the sum product of columns D and E, that is the quantity and average cost, whenever the customer name is equal to Nicola. And the same applies if we have more than one condition. Let's say if we want to filter based on a customer name being Nicola and the category being gas. Here's how that's done. We put some product, open parentheses, two hyphens, and we'll indicate each of our conditions. The first condition is that the customer range, that is the B3 to B12 range in this example, is equal to the cola. And then we put a comma, again, two hyphens. Then we indicate the category range, which is in this case the C3 to C12 range is equal to gas. And those are the two conditions that we indicate at the beginning as so. And then at the end of it, we indicate our sum product range, which are these two columns, the quantity column and the average cost column. And by doing so, we will get the sum product only when the customer name is Nicola and the category is gas. And here's a, finally another example, sum product when the customer name is Cindy and the category is grocery. And the range is again the same, the D and E range. And as easy as that, we can get the sum product with conditions and filters applied. Now I'm going to briefly explain what these two hyphens do over here. So this is called a double negative or a double unary. And what it does is it forces true or false values to their numeric equivalents, that is one and zero. In other words, by using this double negative operator, we are indicating that whenever this value in this range is equal to Nicola, we're going to get return a value of true. And whenever it's not, the formula will return a value of false. And the sum product of these two columns will take place whenever the value is true. And therefore, we need to use the double unary, also known as the double negative operator, in order to be able to have a conditional sum product statement. And that's how it's done. And as you can see, it's very effective and efficient and allows us to do sum products based on one or perhaps many conditions. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. 
Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos.